Hi, Panthers. It's Jana here from WVU with the Appalachian Coders Grant to help you get started on filling out your Renzulli scales. So the Renzulli scales were designed to help identify gifted students in the classroom. And today we're going to be talking about compensation, how you will be compensated for your time in completing the scales, recognizing giftedness, the different ways that it can present itself, and completing the Renzulli scales. So let's start with compensation. You will be compensated $100 to complete four scales for each student in your classroom. The four scales include mathematics, science, creativity, and motivation. The scales have 37 total multiple choice questions that you'll use to rate each student. It will take you around five to 10 minutes per student to complete the four scales. And how you will be reimbursed. So first you will email Crystal Colland at crystal.harper at mail.wvu.edu with your full name, home address, phone number, gender, birth date, and email address. Please cc carla.brigandi at mail.wvu.edu on the email. Next, Crystal Colland will call you to obtain your social security number when entering your information into the payment system. Your gift card will be mailed directly to your home address. Now let's move on to giftedness. So giftedness, how it's typically thought of in classrooms, might look like the student with the, their hand raised most of the time, the student who is well behaved or has the top scores and grades. But let's look a little bit closer at different ways it may present itself in the classroom. So it could be a student who is a nonconformist and willing to take risks. It could be a student with interests and talents in areas outside of the classroom, such as dancing or gardening. It could be someone with a, sen a sense of humor and quick wit, or maybe they're intensely focused and persistent. They may have a strong spatial understanding and they may not be talented in every subject. So some atypical gifted students from my classrooms over the last 16 years were Tony, and he could pick up on irony and sarcasm years before the other second graders and told the best stories. His sense of humor was amazing. And then there was Rachel, who was so into her chickens and her garden that she researched them and the plants endlessly and ran her own experiments to improve their well being. And then there was Sean, my hunter and fisherman. He knew everything there was to know about hunting and fishing, their species, where and when to find them. He was really good uh, with all of that. So now let's talk about how the Renzulli scales are going to be asking you to rate your, your students' behaviors. They're going to ask for timeframes and always means that you've seen that type of behavior nearly every time you give a particular assignment. It doesn't mean literally always. Frequently means you've seen it more often than not, and occasionally is about five to 10 times a year or on five to 10 assignments. Rarely is around three to five times during the year, and very rarely is only once or twice ever. Never means you have never ever seen that behavior from that student. So to begin with, you'll have to activate your account, and most of you have already done this, so you don't have to worry about this. Um, but if you haven't activated your account, look in your email for one from Digital Product Support, and it'll say Renzulli Scales Account Activation Required. It'll give you their license agreement, and at the end, if you agree to those terms, it'll ask you for an email address and password. You'll set up your password, and uh, please use your school email for that email address. And then you'll have an email of assignments. And once again, it's going to be from digital, digital product support. And it'll say that you've been assigned these um, scales. So you can log into your account directly from this email and then begin filling them out. If you have any questions, please email me, Janice Stone or Carla Brigandi, and let us know how we can help you. Thank you, Panthers.